AI is a very, very hot topic at the moment. And as web designers, I think it's very smart to explore and embrace what opportunities exist with AI. Now recently I did a video where I explored the capabilities of Midjourney, which is an AI tool that allowed me to produce a ton of different website designs based on a series of prompts. But now I wanna take a look at ChatGPT. Now ChatGTP has literally been everywhere in the news, all over YouTube, social media. And I've spent a little bit of time playing around with this tool and I've gotta to say it's bloody incredible. So today I'm gonna to be exploring how you as a web designer can make use of such an AI tool like ChatGTP to just make your life easier when it comes to web design projects. Okay, so here we are at ChatGTP and to get to it, you just go to chat.openai.com forward slash chat. Now just sign up, it takes around 10, 15, 20 seconds, especially if you sign in with a Google address. But here we have our chat interface and this is just gonna allow us to just have a conversation with a bot and we can literally ask anything. But in this instance, I wanna see how valuable this tool can be when it comes to designing a website. So let's start a new chat and say, give me an outline to a pet treats website. Actually, well, let's just go one further. Give me a name for a pet treats business. Create me a name for pet treats business. Okay, so let's see what this says. Bark bite, so I like that. Okay, so it's given us quite a few options here for potential business names. I really like Bark Bite, so I'm just gonna go with that. Website outline for our pet treats business called Bark Bites. All right, and this is gonna go away, I'm sure it's gonna give us an outline to our pet treats business. So we've got homepage. So a welcoming header with the company name Bark Bites and a tagline such as wholesome treats for happy pups. So it's given us a tagline as well here, which is great. An introduction to the business. So it's given us a homepage outline, which is awesome. Then it's given us products. So it's listing this out by pages, which is super useful, especially if you're in the early stages of trying to build a website for an industry you've never maybe built a website for before, especially if you're getting started. You can use this to give you the tools that you need in order to make sure that you're creating the right pages. So we've got products, we've got a list of different types, biscuits, chews, soft treats. So this is this has given us some really, really high quality details here. So we've got high quality images and treats, a way for customers and products. Okay, so if for example, you were pulling together the outline of a project, you could use something like this to give you the base. And it's certainly gonna give you a lot of information it's gonna give you it's gonna give you really good ideas on what pages. So we've got home page, product, about, a blog, contact page, a shop, my account. So it's already made the assumption here that you're building an online store. If it's dog treats, the chances are you're gonna to wanna to sell them. So we could literally use this information to either share it with our customer or our client, or we can use this information, or we can use this information and start pulling together a brief for either ourselves or for a designer if you were outsourcing. So already this has given us a lot of information. So we can actually further this. We could potentially say, give me more content to put on the homepage. Sure, here's a few more elements you can include in the homepage of Bark Bites. So now it's given us some parts that we can include on the homepage. So we've got features products, why choose Bark Bites, using this section to highlight unique selling points a subscription service, a customer re review section. So now it's kind of giving us the construction of what elements to include on our homepage. So we've got customer reviews, happy customers or customer gallery, special offers, news and events, and followers on social media. So this should give you an idea of additional elements you can include on your homepage to make it more informative and engaging for customers. Remember to make it visually appealing. So it's also given us some advice, which is cool. All right, so let's see what we can do next. So we've got a featured product section. So we could maybe ask it, can you write us some content for the featured products? section on our home page. Sure, here's some sample content you can use for the featured product section. Okay. Introduce our newest. So, okay, so now we've gone as far to do the outline. It's pulled together some content that we can have on the home page, and now we're asking it to write us the content. Okay, so this is a really powerful tool, and if you're someone like me that isn't too strong at copywriting, because after all, we are web designers, you can use this tool to produce copy for you. Again, okay, this copy 
is good. Like this copy writes better than I can write. So it definitely is a good way to go. So you've got, um, right, so it's got f what, four? Okay, so it's writing quite a bit of text here. So introducing the newest edition to Bite Bites for the pork. So it's given us a product name here, which is cool. You could obviously just change that. You can change this to suit you, but it's definitely giving you a very, very good base. So looking for a healthy, wholesome treat option for our veggie bites, so that's another one. Okay, so we've got featured products and it's given us four blocks of text for four individual featured products. So porking delights, veggie bites, barking beef chews. Brilliant, so that's given us that. So we could then come up here and say, why choose barks bites? Okay, so we could then, I don't know, copy this and say, write me some content for to go on the home page. Okay, so it's given us featured projects text products text. We're now asking it for why choose bark bites. Okay, so sure, at bark bites we believe that pipes deserve the best and why we use the highest quality all natural ingredients our treats from locally sourced meats, organic fruits and vegetables. Our treats are handmade, so again it's listing out some points here and these look like they could work as USPs. So that's that one and then what we've got why choose our subscription service so we could then we could just ask it to output text for each part of these and then we've got all of the text content that we need in order to build our home page so we've got our outline it's telling us what to do it's given us a step-by-step -step breakdown of what it thinks should appear on our home page so if you are starting from scratch and you're really lacking inspiration this can give you a very very good source of inspiration and a very, very good starting point when you have creative block, for example. So let me just try one more. We've got that here. Um, so there's quite a bit of text there. So we could say, can you make this shorter? So this is quite long, I want it shorter. Let's see what it can do. So Bark Bikes, we use all natural ingredients. So this shorter version focuses on the main selling points of your business and the variety amazing so it's already summarized those four points into one paragraph and it's it's much snappier so if you wanted to have your website to have a image next to it with a block of text you can then just put that paragraph of text in so already chat is an amazing tool for generating content but what else can we do okay now it's given us the outline but let's say we want to choose a color palette so uh, what can we say what colors would work best for our pet treats website design and let's see what it says when it comes to choosing colors for a pet treats website it's important to consider the nature of your products as well as your target audience here's a few color schemes earthy tones this can work well for the website to emphasize neutral organic and sustainable ingredients a color palette with shades of green brown and beige can be rustic and earthy feel all right brilliant so earthy tones things like greens browns and beige bright and fun this can be a great option for websites that target pet owners with young children and families muted pastels dog colors using colors associated with different types of dog like black white brown and silver can help create connection with the audience and make it easier to show the treats on the dogs Show the treats on the dogs. Mm, okay, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, neutral colors, black, white, gray, brown. Cool, so we've got loads of options here. So again, if you are looking for inspiration, like it's giving you a bunch of color inspiration here. So we could say, um, let's say we wanna use earthy tones. So I'm just gonna copy that and say, um, give me some HTML hex codes for earthy tones to use on the website. Sure, here are some HTML hex codes for the earthy tones that you can use on your website. This is a shade of green that represents growth, health, and nature. This is a shade of lime green that represents freshness, energy, and positivity. This is a shade of green that represents the stability and security. This is a shade of yellow. So we've got green, we've got three greens. We've got yellow, orange, yellow, orange that represents confidence and cheerfulness. This is a shade of brown that represents nature. Here we go, so already we've got a bunch of colors. Now let's just, so say you want to only include three colors. So let's just change this slightly. So give me four HTML hex code codes for earthy tones to use on the website. So instead of one that's giving me A, I want it to give me four. Sure, here are four HTML hex codes that can use IC terms on your website. So this is a shade of green. This is a shade of yellow. So we've got green, yellow, 
what's this orange oh green so green green yellow and brown these colors can be used to create natural and organic fill on your website but okay so it's given us four it's given us two greens i'm not sure at this point how different these greens are let's have a look so let's just have a look in photoshop so here we've got so we've got a lime green okay so i've put these in photoshop and you can see that we've although that said it was a yellow it's more of a green and we've got three shades of green here so if i wanted it to return a yellow let's ask it can you give me the hex code for a earthy yellow sure hex code for an earthy tone yellow can be just a shade of yellow because right, so it already looks different to that one so let's have a look amazing that already looks like a nicer yellow so we've got quite a vibrant color palette here although earthy tones i think this could work well if you wanted a green slash yellow designed earthy tone looking website. Okay, so ChatGTP has given us inspiration on colors. It's given us inspiration on copy that we can use on the website. It's given us inspiration on what we could include on the homepage. It's given us inspiration on an entire website outline. Okay, so there is really little limitation as to what you can do with this tool and it can be really, really valuable for you as a web designer. Okay, so hopefully you found that valuable and you can really start to see and appreciate how valuable AI can be as a web designer. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. There'll be more videos like this coming out very, very soon. There's an end screen coming up with more valuable content. So make sure you go and check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.